Uh, they have the, uh, the group holding up ahead of a potential five nil. Have they, they been mentioned anywhere? Yeah, I got mentioned just the other night. I suppose it's something that we it, we probably haven't dwelled on it, but we we don't want to go home as a five nil. So um, we'll be pretty determined to play a really good game this week and have a win. But um, the guys have, have, are instilling good spirit, which is really good, and I think they're looking forward to having a game here at Cape Town and hopefully have a win. There's been a lot of talk back home about the, the bowling group here. I mean. Are you confident that we'll see these guys again in, in Australian setups and stuff? They haven't sort of marked their cards with what's happened. No, I don't think they've marked their cards. It's obviously a very hard place to come and bowl, and the opposition have been, you know, their batting team has been amazing. So it's been a really tough campaign for those guys, but I don't think you'd say they've marked their cards. I think Chris Tremaine has probably come out and, and showed some good, some really good things there. Um, Scotty Bowen the other day was very good. So. Yeah, I think the, the more fast bowlers you've got in your group, um, the better because they're the one the one part, part of your team that do get injuries. So if you can add add people to your fast bowling group all the time, it's always very very important. Back to Australia a couple of days, start planning for the Test series. Have you gleaned much from, from the trip? Um, you can't always read too much into to one day cricket, but what? The South Africans will be thinking is that they'll be quite confident after they've done well. But um, you know, Australia in Australia is a is a different kettle of fish, really. So you know, we'll we'll have a good look at their op the opposition that we're playing um, and make sure we come up with some really good plans. But um, Test cricket is a different ball game altogether. So um, yeah, we'll, I'm looking forward to to a really good summer against South Africa. And you were part of the England setup when South Africa won over there pretty comprehensively. Well, that in that series, two things happened. Their bowlers bowled particularly well, but their batters scored quite heavily, um, which always sort of made England behind the game a little bit. So, you know, that a lot of their bowlers, um, you know, they're fine. You know, Dale Stein's probably the best bowler going around in the world. They've got Rabada is is it's a really exciting talent for them. So. You know, they're going to they're going to cause us some some um, some problems at, um, at times, but I know that the you know the Australian Test team will be determined to go really well, and it's you know it's heating up to be a fantastic summer. You know, against those guys, it'll be great great cricket. It always seems to be against South Africa. Australia brings out some really good cricket. Last one. Bob said that he's happy with the back Proteus haven't allowed Australia to compete. Do you think there's truth in that? Yeah, well, they've played fantastic cricket. They've had some, you know, some of their batting has been as good as you get, and their bowlers have put a lot of pressure on our batters at different times. You know, three times they've really restricted us quite well. So, um, that there as, as a team in South Africa, they're always tough to beat, and you know, he's led that team very well. But as I said, we're determined to make sure we win one game before we go home. So, hopefully, that will happen.